very good afternoon again i know the session will be there before lunch but it's good that i don't have session after lunch so we are talking about commitment to zero global uh, gro global warming potential for a healthier tomorrow so i mean people says like tomorrow never comes so we we have to really see how how it actually goes so the session which we have just seen was talking more of related to generation part in this case we are talking about transmission part that how transmission industry all together can help to reach out to carbon neutrality in future so the story story begins from here unfcc paris agreement signed by approximately 190 countries and uh, the objective was global warming potential to be kept well under 1.5 degree centigrade each country must determine and report regularly on how and with which scenario they are going to contribute to lesser gas emissions us set target by 2035 100% clean energy generation will be there and by 2050 they are targeting net zero ghg pollution eu has uh, set a target that by 2050 they would be the first uh, continent in the world which will be carbon neutral climate neutral china we all know i mean huge uh, industry uh, ramp up is going on and they are going to see uh, co2 emission peak by 2030 and 2060 they are targeting carbon neutrality and india uh, being a being a country wherein uh, which is being, uh, uh, I mean, we have taken a target of carbon neutrality of 2070, which is a really ambitious target. And we can see the development. In the morning, uh, people were talking about the growth of renewable energy sector since last seven, eight years. So we have already reached to a certain level and our targets are very high. And government is talking about 500 gigawatt of renewable. And government of India is also pioneering and front running towards hydrogen generation, which is again, uh, uh, I would say demand side management is one important aspect which comes when generation is talked about. So renewable is not continuous source of energy. Battery energy storage system can't be there for huge lot of energy requirements. And hydrogen could be one option. So combination of all three, all these three will, uh, will, will uh, take us to the clean energy requirements. Somebody was talking about UN Sustainable Development Goals. So there are 17 SDGs defined by United Nations. Out of those 17, three are extremely important for the power industry or transmission industry. One is good health and well-being. So we are talking about zero toxicity, zero emission, zero pollution, and zero use of PFAS and F gases. So fluorinated gases, we, we need to uh, stay away from those. Second important aspect is affordable and cle clean energy. So we are talking about clean grids, wherein zero GHG emissions, low losses, use of ester fluids, synthetic oils, in place of minerals or ascarals, which we were, we were using for power transformers. And third is climate action. So all the, all the industries who all are manufacturing these transmission products and systems, they can go initiate their own uh, factories to be carbon neutral by having solar as a generation and uh, source of supply for their own production. Now, this is something which is already implemented at Siemens at our headquarter. Now what comes? The story comes, Paris Agreement, UN uh, goals, relevant fields for transmission industry, and then regulatory bodies. That's, that will play extremely important role. In the panel discussion, it was asked by the panel team that there should be solid outcome of this particular national summit. And this is exactly what it means. So various regulatory bodies in the world have already opted. FGAS regulation in European Union has already been started. FGAS CARB in California and US, they have already started working on it. REACH in EU is helping to see what all things can be done to achieve carbon neutrality. If we see there are five, three, uh, five states, so basically Denmark, Sweden, Norway, uh, Deutschland, Germany, and Netherlands, these five states has taken uh, initiative to reduce on uh, use of uh, F gases. 
So all these things have created pressure on power industry. Again, extremely important topic. SF6 gas, sulfur hexafluoride gas. The studies on SF6 gas were started in 1960s. 1964, first SF6 circuit breaker was delivered and commissioned in the world. Since then, we were using SF6 gas. It was very good because it was giving you high dielectric strength and it is being used commonly everywhere. However, if we see SF6 is classified as strong greenhouse gas with a CO2 equivalent of 25,200 units, but still commonly used because we, we were not having any options. Second is increasing number of companies have already now committing for switching from SF6 gas to other solution so that we can contribute to carbon neutrality. NET, so it's again a transmission utility in Germany and Netherlands. National Grid in UK, so they have set a target. National Grid in the UK is talking about 80% of uh, greenhouse gas reduction, usage of greenhouse gas reduction uh, compared to 1990. Uh, PG&E in California and USA is taking initiative. BKK Net, so that's again in Norway, they are taking uh, initiatives for this. RTE France, again talking about use of alternate insulating media for switchgear and transmission industry. Again, what regulatory, regula regulations are available in EU? So this is a uh, regulation uh, on uh, basically uh, by Director General uh, reporting obligations for F gases and SF6 gas. They are targeting prohibition of 145 kV type switch gear from January 1st, 2028. That's something which is again extremely important, which is again complementing to their idea wherein they are talking about by 2050 complete EU will be uh, carbon neutral. And this, this particular actions, the storyline what we have seen right from Paris Agreement till here is putting pressure on TND equipment manufacturers to see and look for another source of uh, insulating media. And here comes the commitment from the people each undersigned is committed to delivering TND equipment free of fluorinated gases and PFAS gas needed to enable, enable this transmission, this transition. And this will be done based on science-based net zero targets, wherein a lot of uh, energy to be incorporated and invested on R&D aspects. Now what, as Siemens, we are doing here is we have developed a technology which is combination of clean air plus vacuum technology. So we have developed our products with vacuum insulation, combination of nitrogen and oxygen, pure air, which, which will be zero CO2 emissions, zero toxicity, and completely F gas free. So technology is basically completely environment friendly, no special health or safety hazards, again contributing to or complementing to SDG goals defined by UN out of any F gas or chemical regulations now and in future. So the development is done or the technology is, uh, I would say, uh, invented in such a way that even in future, if F gas implications are there, because of which penalties could be there on the users, so those things would stay away from the products from this particular uh, inven invention. Then lowest lifetime cost, simple gas handling, no recovery and recycling is needed. And multiple ga gas suppliers will be available. This is a blue portfolio from Siemens globally. So we have developed wind tower blue GIS, which is 72.5 kV switchgear application, especially for wind. It can be used directly there. Again, it's basically combination of clean air and vacuum interrupter chamber. Blue GIS. Uh, for normal operations, this can be used. Blue circuit breaker, then dead tank circuit breakers, and higher, higher voltages in passive. So here we have seen switching components. In this case, we are talking about non-switching components. So bus duct is again very extremely important aspect. So we can have combination of SF6 insulated switch gear and no, uh, clean air insulated bus duct. Even by implementation of this, we can practically touch upon reduction of 
30 to 65 percent of less SF6 gas. Because if we talk about transmission utility, be it MSCTCL, be it PGCIL, be it GETCO, be it any other transmission utility, we are using two kilometers, three kilometers, four kilometers of SF6 bus ducts. So we can reduce on this quantity with the help of availability of this particular solution today itself. So that's again one, one aspect which needs to be looked upon. Blue instrument transformers, so power, power transformers are also developed and instrument transformers like current transformers, voltage transformers are also developed with clean air. So in place of SF6 gas, oil, we are talking about clean air. Well, so sustainable switchgear technology for a CO2 neutral feature, what all are the product characteristics? As I mentioned, clean air and interrupter technology with vacuum. Weight of SF6 or other fluorinated gases is zero. GWT, global warming potential, zero. Expected product lifetime. So we all know SF6 gas insulated switch gears were having life expectancy of more than 50 years. This is again, same thing, completely sealed environment, gas insulated switch gear with clean air. No reporting or emission cost during operation and recycling and taxes or CO2 emission co compensations are not required. So this is again a foolproof technology available and implemented. Technical features rated up to 145 kV. So we have developed up to 400 kV. However, validations are in progress. 145 kV is already developed and uh, installed globally at various locations. We'll see it in the next slides. Rated short, short time breaking current is 40 kilo amperes. We are talking about switching operation 2x that of uh, normal SF6 insulated breakers. Stored energy spring mechanism, again, completely pure spring spring. So, I mean, SIGRE reports have suggested that pure spring spring is highly reliable. So, if you compare it with pneumatic, it is failure, failure in pneumatic is, is double, and in hydraulic, it is seven times that of pneumatic. So, pure spring spring is the most uh, reliable technology as per apex agencies like SIGRE. Seismic withstand capability, leakage rate of gas, less than 0.1% per annum, which is type tested, equipped with sense gear and technology. So in the last panel discussion and in morning, everybody was talking about Internet of Things, IoT. This is exactly what is there. So not only turbines, which are being monitored by OEMs, now we are talking about transmission industry, wherein switch gears, power transformers, Instrument transformers, everything can be monitored via IoT and artificial intelligence remotely. And not only by OEMs, but also by users. This is again implemented. MSCTCL is a front runner in approving this uh, sense gear as a technology. We have already uh, got approval for this uh, for one of the consumer end project. And in similar lines, oil and gas sector companies have shown interest. And we are already in discussion with them for delivering this Internet of Things solution, which is called a sense gear. Moving to the next, so types and variants suitable for indoor and outdoor operations. And most important, ambient temperature range, we are talking about minus 50 to plus 55 degrees Celsius. So in the atmospheric situation, whatever we have, be it in Jammu and Kashmir, be it in Rajasthan, everywhere the products are suitable. This is again extremely important. Uh, BKK Net Norway, it's Norway's largest cruise port. The requirement of customer was they want to go ahead with SF6 free solution. And the order received by Siemens in 2018 and the energization was done, by, done in 2020. You can see three numbers of 145 kV base was fitted in a small room. And the feedback from customer is like this. We anticipate that SF6 will eventually be banned or burdened by restrictions and penalty fees. So, so, so when making investment in capacity and substations in and around the Bergen, we opted to eliminate SF6 from the equation altogether. Because we want to move towards sustainability and we don't want to make a decision today that would embarrass us two years later. So that's again one of the uh, feedback. And uh, important is low power instrument transformers are also possible for uh, GIS with clean air, wherein you can make it more and more compact. This is again interesting. We at Siemens already have more than 10 million hours of commercial operation for this particular uh, equipment. 2.2 million tons of CO2 equivalent is saved. More than, I, I would say, close to 2,000 units are already supplied 
and more than 1,000 units are already in operation as on today. Now, what, what should be the way forward? So this, this would be the question uh, to this forum and the policy makers that how in India we will move forward. So you can see this is like there are hard evaluation. Uh, I mean, there had been environment based factors for evaluation in bidding process in many regions, be it Europe, be it other regions. So this is one of the example that you can have a tender evaluation criteria wherein equipment price could be rated as the 40 points technical 40, sustainability 20, and total evaluation 100. Then it goes on increasing. Technical, physical footprint, three-phase switching capability, leakage rates, building ventilation requirements, technicalities on special gas processing equipment, availability of insulation gas, gas handling or contamination test. So all these things, I mean, GWT insulating levels, whether it is falling in the range of 1 point to 1,000 point, falling in the range of 0 0.1 to 1, or less than 0.1. So these are the things which is again complementing with UN's target 12.7 talking about promoting sustainable public, procu pro public procurement practices. This, this is one of the uh, scenario which we thought that can be presented to the policy makers available here. And finally, so we, we spoke in the starting of my session that tomorrow never comes, but uh, there was a great saying by Albert Einstein. He talks about if tomorrow never were to come, then it's not uh, wise to live today. So that way we wanted to just highlight here a message from us. Let's make it day zero, zero in India. Let's make tomorrow different today itself. Thank you very much. If you have any question, I mean, you can always connect me or you can ask. Thanks.